Hello, women of faith. I'm glad to be back with you. I spoke last time on Philippians 4, 4 through 8. And I want to back up. We, we worked through um, verse 7. And today we'll be looking at verse 8. But I do want to back up to verse 7 because I just find the contrast here so incredible. So it says, The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. I love how it says that God's peace is going to guard our hearts and minds. And then in the very next verse, he tells us to think on certain things. So there's a part of this where God guards our hearts, where he guards our minds. And there's a part of this where we're instructed to focus our thoughts and our minds on certain things. It's a blessing to know that God is going to do his work in our hearts and our lives. And it's a blessing to know what we can do for our minds. And I'm I'm sure many of you have meditated on this passage a lot. But in the face of being at home and having this time, I wanted to think through some of the things that God says that Paul says, and God ultimately says that we should set our minds on. The first thing is whatever is true. As I mentioned before, this problem of COVID-19, it's a big problem. And nobody knows exactly every, everything about it. Nobody understands how it's going to affect the future or other things. But this is what we can know. We can know because God says in John 17, 17, that his word is truth. We have an opportunity to focus on things we can know for sure are true. And that's God's word. You know, so many of us find that it's hard to get time in God's word. And right now we're having opportunity to pause. And we can, we can take the time to spend in God's word in a way that maybe we haven't had opportunity to before. We can take time to focus our minds on the things that are true in his word that we can cling to, that we can know are going to be true tomorrow and the next day and have been true for many, many hundreds of years, thousands of years. In fact, all of eternity. The next thing it says to focus our minds on are the things that are honorable. The idea of giving honor, like honoring our father and mother, that idea means to give weight to their words. So if we're thinking about things that are honorable, we're thinking about things that are worth giving weight to. You know, I spend time on social media. I'm sure many of us do. And we don't, we can't know, like, is this article true or is this news show? Are they reporting accurate facts? Should I give weight and honor to these words? Should I rearrange how we do things in our lives for this, from this source or that? But what we can know is that God's word is worth giving weight to. And that's such a comfort to me because often I can get overwhelmed by the fact that I don't know quite who to believe in this world. And I'm reminded of the fact that I can give, always give honor to God and his word. The next thing is whatever is just. God's character is one that's defined by his justice. When we think through who God is, we're thinking about justice. Deuteronomy 32, 4 says, The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice. A God of faithfulness and without iniquity, 
just and upright is he. You know, my kids often feel right now like it's not, it's not really fair that we all have to stay home. <laughs> and I, I can admit that there's times where I think like that. But our God is in control and he's just. All his ways are just and upright. The next thing it says in the passage is whatever is pure. I think about the virus when I think about this too now, because I think we will go to like some extraordinary measures to avoid this virus. I mean, think about the things that we're doing that we weren't doing a month ago. You know, we're wearing face masks. We're scrubbing our arms. I've heard of people taking their clothes off in the garage so that they can be sure they haven't brought even a tiny particle of virus into their home. They're taking their shoes off. They're going to extraordinary lengths to stay pure from this virus. What kind of lengths do we go to to stay pure in our spiritual lives before the Lord? Are we willing to do things that are going to inconvenience us, that are going to be difficult, that are going to be hard work to keep our minds on what's pure? The next thing is whatever is lovely. You know, there's a spiritual aspect to this, but I think that the physical is related to the spiritual. And so when I look at my lilacs blooming in my front yard or some beautiful sunflowers that I have on my breakfast bar right now, those are lovely. And they can turn my heart to think about my lovely creator, to think about my God who cares about how his creation looks. And there's, there's a sense of loveliness that is not just physical, but it's okay to spruce up your space a little bit so that you have something lovely to think about. Um, whatever is commendable. I, I do see on social media where people want to point out the good things. They want to point out how the 104-year-old survived COVID-19 or how people are serving other people. I think that's commendable. I think that's worthy of thinking about. Whatever is excellent. There is... There is so much that can be done even in our homes right now that we can do with excellence, that we can think upon, we can praise our family members for the things that they're doing excellently right now. Whatever is worthy of praise. Our God is the one who's worthy of all honor and praise. Thinking on him is never going to lead us down a path of anxiety like I talked about in the last one. It's going to lead us down a path of blessing, of God's peace guarding our hearts and minds. So it's so neat to me how there's this aspect of focusing our own hearts on those things that are pure and lovely and honorable and just and commendable and excellent and worthy of praise. And there's also that sense that God will do his work in guarding our hearts and minds with his peace. So I just want to encourage you ladies to keep on with this. I'm encouraging myself too, to keep on thinking on those things. <laughs>